Hello, I'm StirFry05, and welcome back to another Astroneer video. In today's video, we're on episode number two of Astroneer. Um, in the last episode, we just got started and got uh, got all the basic uh, things done that you do when you start a new uh, survival game. Um, so in today's episode, I wanted to get started on possibly a smelter and mining, and maybe get to uh, the space tractor, which would be a good advancement. So let's get started with that. Um, I've just barely finished printing out another uh, platform. So we can hook this up. I've kind of done some base organization, I guess, off camera. Um, and I've got just these smaller platforms hooked up. And I got a second research chamber. Um, just so it's a little uh, spread out, I guess. Um, I don't know. I just like the, to organize the base this way. So let's put this platform right there. And we can put our smelter uh, on this platform. So there we go. Um, so a smelter, let's see, it's pretty cheap, only 250 bytes and it takes one compound and two resin. Do I have, uh, I might be missing, it. yeah, I'm missing a compound and one resin. Alright, and then do we have, no, we don't have another research, so we'll have to go get that. Um, there are some resin and compound deposits, um, so I'm gonna just grab some of this stuff and I'll we'll get to making our uh, smelter. All right, so I'm back. I got some uh, resin and compound, so we can hurry and make one of these smelters, um, and then I we can put it on this platform as well as I got two extra resin um, for the purpose I wanted to make a yeah, medium storage to go with the smelter, and eventually I'd like to get another one. Uh, just to store all the resources we'll get from that as well as I hooked up another research so we have a fairly good uh, bytes per minute going right now um, so one thing I wanted to look at unlocking in this video was the tractor so let's get that that takes aluminum and we almost have enough to get the trailer um, so only two aluminum and then we'll need aluminum for that but so that's uh, down in the cave, so we'll have to go into the cave. So we should probably make up a few tether bundles. So let's grab some uh, compound when we wait for this to uh, smelter to finish. Um, maybe like two bundles uh, I think would be good, maybe three. We'll see. There's lots of compound here, so we'll get it. Let's do three. Yeah, I think that would be good because we'll need probably some to get out to a cave, but... I think there might be one over there. We'll see how it goes. So let's see. Let's make a tether bundle. Um, looks like that storage finished. So we can just... Uh, oh, not that. Go. Oh, come on. There we go. Just put that on there. And pack it. Have that back. Alright, and then I always uh, expand them. So let's see. Tether bundle. Make another one of those. We can put this organic over in our organic pile. There we go. All right. Well, it looks like when we uh, make these, it takes energy and stops the base, but that's okay. Last one. All right. There we go. Once the wind picks up, it'll also help uh, the base move a little faster. That's definitely one thing we need to focus on is uh, power production. So we're, I'm gonna wait for this to finish up, and then we'll head out to a cave. All right. So I'm back. The smelter finally finished up, so we can throw this on the platform. And then we can go look for some aluminum and maybe possibly even some copper to start smelting. Um, so I thought we could just go along this tether line and go look for a cave. I believe there was one down here um, from last time. And hopefully there is. Let's see. Um, would it have it would have led from out here? If nothing else, we can always just tunnel down. Um, this is where we're getting compound. Oh, it looks like there's a gateway over there as well that... A uh, large light coming from the sky. Hmm. I remember... Yeah, this... Is this a cave or is this just a hole? Although, this is a cave. Okay, we'll use this then. So let's head down here and look around and see what we got. Okay. It's... I'm not sure if there's any difference if the cave is, like, under a forest or if it's, like, under a mountain or something. I'm not sure if the biomes have different caves systems or anything like that. So we'll have to explore it and see. Oh, that just connected. It's a little weird. Can you? There you go. Just want to make sure I remember there's a tether there. Looks like we'll have to uh, make a ramp, but that's okay. Make a ramp. Oh, maybe. A oh, little deep, but that's okay. We just need to get down there. This will be a lot easier once we get a work light as well. Those are always uh, good to have. Let's see. There's a, a research aid over there. What's that? Is that a dangerous plant? 
I don't think so. I think it's just a regular plant. Okay. Because I know there are uh, plants down in these caves that will shoot gases at you that will kill you, so you just have to be careful for those. As well as the cave research is always uh, good to find. There we go. Is that... I know that might... There's a cave research. Let's put that over here by the tether line. We can always take that back up. I know aluminum's the blue um, ore, so let's see. Nope, that's all compound, it looks like. There you go, Tether. Reach back, all the way back there. Um, some more research. Hmm, is that aluminum? I think that is aluminum over there. Let's go see. Oh, and there's our research uh, item down here. Oh, I accidentally did my emote. Let's see. Grab these. Can we get this research? There we go. I guess I'll just uh, put it there for now. And I don't want to fall in this hole, so I'm going to flatten it back over. There we go. Alright, is that just more compound? It looked like research. Or not research, but uh, aluminum. Hmm, I guess compound just has a bluish glow when it's in a dark area. Hmm, usually aluminum isn't this hard to find. Uh oh Looks like uh, another level to the cave over here. I know as well we can find quartz, um, which is useful to make glass for, uh, I believe, wind turbines and even maybe solar panels. So, if we find quartz, we might as well take it. What's that over there? Is that more compound? Oh, no, no, that's uh, zinc, I believe. I guess we can grab a little bit of zinc. It's always good to have. I'm not sure, really sure what you use zinc for, but I, I know there are uses for it. There we go. We'll just get one zinc for now. Oh, I can't seem to place these tethers. Oh, no. There we go. And then let's move this one back over. All right, well, I'm going to keep looking for some aluminum. I'll come back if I find it. All right, so I'm back. I found both of the things we were after. I have found some uh, quartz here, this pink crystal-looking ore, as well as there's some aluminum, um, not over... Well, th I think there is some over there, that blue glow. But as well as I found some aluminum down there, you can see. It kind of looks... Or it reminds me of, like, coins stacked on top of each other, so... We'll have to go down and get that after we grab some quartz. At least maybe three quartz would be good for now. How many do we have? Two? Let's see. There we go. And then I ran out of tethers, so let's hurry and grab some of these. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that, uh, what are these? Pop coral, I believe? Um, I don't know. It didn't give me a seed, but I think that is pop coral. Um, well, let's grab some compound. Nope, not quite. Is that enough? There we go. Make another tether bundle. And then we can go get this aluminum. So, it didn't take too long to find, although it looks like you have to go fairly far into the caves. I did use three tether lines. Let's see. Um, I'll just remember that's there. <laughs> Found three researches so far, so we'll have to make a few trips down to get them all. Alright, so let's grab as much aluminum as we can and we'll head back up and work on making that tractor. So, I think, is there two ores? Maybe just this one? I'm not sure how much there is exactly, but looks like a fair amount of aluminum here, which is always good. We can always use it for... I believe you also need aluminum to make the small shuttle, as well as thrusters, that and ammonium. So, we'll, we'll need aluminum eventually. Alright, how many do we have? Oh, we're dropping it. Um, yeah. Alright, so let's, let's see. I might leave my tether bundle down here, and then if I want to come pick up uh, the exploration in this cave, I'll have it. Um, as well as, I guess I'll just leave this spare aluminum with that tether bundle. And I'll get it on my way back down here. So let's take the furthest research with us. Um, so it's not as hard to collect. So I'm going to head back to the base. I'll get this research going and this uh, aluminum smelting. And we'll work on making a space tractor. Alright, so I'm back at the base. I got our research hooked up as well as this. Uh, all the resources we got from the cave start uh, smelting. So it looks like because we don't have the best power production, it's going to take a while. Luckily the wind is picking up. Um, but when it slows down, it definitely goes very slow. So I'm going to try and get enough aluminum uh, to make the tractor as well as real quick I wanted to unlock the trailer. So now we can make that. So looks like we do have a compound. So we should have all we need to make the trailer. We just need three aluminum. So I'm going to wait for all that to smelt up and I'll come back when we, uh, we're ready to make the trailer. Alright, so I got all the aluminum smelted up. So now let's make our tractor. 
as well as um, this trailer. Let's see. There we go. Um, that's definitely going to slow us down. I might turn this off for a minute as to get a little extra power. Uh, the wind started up. <laughs> yeah, printing it quite fast. Um, so to power this, I think I'm just going to take one of our small wind turbines uh, for now. And we'll just use that as power. I'd like to get a small solar panel, but that, I believe, costs uh, copper. Do we even have that unlocked? Um, oh, no, we need to unlock it, as well as the small wind turbine. So we'll have to get that going, but for now, I think we're just going to power this tractor with uh, this wind turbine. So let's grab this and throw it on there. Oh, come on. There we go. Grab that and put that there. And then we can go looking for some copper or... Um, maybe possibly some more research so let's throw the trailer on um, I guess we can turn this uh, smelter back on now that we got this so let's see oh come on plug in there there we go alright so now once the wind picks up we can go uh, around and look for some stuff there we go let's see yeah it's starting to charge us up um, it's nice when we have a solar panel um, usually you can run the tractor off of just that so let's see, we have a mountain over here, so whoop, let's not already run into a hole. So let's go check out this mountain and see what we have on there. I definitely do like the vehicles in this game, they're nice, especially because they give you oxygen, so you don't need to run tethers everywhere once you get uh, a vehicle. And especially the tractor, because it's very obtainable and easy to get um, early game. It's only two aluminum, which was pretty easy to get. So it looks like there's a mountain research. I think those give us 500, maybe 600 bytes. I'm not quite sure. So let's grab it and throw it on our trailer. Oh, there's another one down there as well. I think we'll have to leave it though. All right, let's keep looking for some copper, which I believe is malachite. So, oh, there it looks like there's some right there. So let's maneuver our way around these, uh, what are those, bounce vines? I forget what they're called. Oh, over the edge. Okay, grab this malachite here. Um, I'd like to get possibly two to make a work light, as well as a small solar panel for our uh, tractor. Alright, let's see, there's one malachite. Hopefully get our second one. There, there's another one. Let's see how many we can get. Because I'll take all the malachite we can right now, early game. You, it's definitely a vital resource that you need to collect. Alright. How many do we have? Three? Okay, let's keep going. Um, let's see. There's some here, I believe. Yeah. There. Let's get this. Try and get another one. If we're lucky. Oh, it looks like this vein goes further than I thought. Alright, there looks like there's a little here. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave that for now. We have, what is that? Uh, five? Yeah. So five uh, copper should be good uh, for our purposes. So I'm going to head home and get this smelted up, and maybe we'll try and get a work light. Alright, so I'm back. I'm out at the base, but it, I, I was just doing some exploring while I waited for that copper to smelt up, and it looks like we found a, a small uh, solar panel. So we'll definitely take it, because um, it seems to be intact. Hopefully we can pick it up. Let's see. Um, let's see if I can flip it over. Uh, do I need to get, like, the bottom? Yeah, what if I plug it into my rover? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, let me dig around here, and then I'll try and get a... Try and grab it. Oh, it doesn't... Let's see, there we go, finally. That was definitely a difficult little solar panel, but now we have it. Looks like we picked up scrap, but I don't need that yet, so we're just gonna leave it here. Alright, so let's put this solar panel on our tractor. Um, so now that should be all the power uh, items we need to power this tractor. Um, so I think I'm going to do that for power. So let's um, head home. As well as that, I also found another gateway. So now we know where two of the gateways are, so we can activate those soon enough. So I'm going to head home, and we'll get started um, uh, making this work light. Okay, so I'm home. Um, it looks like we had some copper smelt up, so we just need one. And then I believe we need to um, unlock this work light. Let's see, where is it? Unless we already have it unlocked, which could... Oh, it looks like we do have it already unlocked. Alright, so let's, uh, I believe you craft it in your backpack. Um, work light, yeah, so let's make one of these. And then we'll just, uh, put it on our backpack, and there we go. Yeah, as you can see, a big difference in the amount of brightness we get. So, they're definitely very useful. 
Um, so I think I'm going to leave the video here. It's running a little long. So anyway, I hope everybody did enjoy our second episode of Astroneer and found it entertaining. So I'll see everyone later. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and goodbye.